Well, I knew when I, uh, I wanted to be a hockey player when I first stepped on the ice, when I started skating. Um, obviously, I didn't, I didn't know I was going to be in the NHL, but I was excited. You know, I, I love the game and um, I love to be on the ice. Uh, as soon as I woke up, uh, you know, uh, it took me a couple of seconds and I was ready to go and I wanted to play it as long as I could. There's always somebody there to uh, take me to the rink. My dad drove me most of the time. Uh, you know, if it wasn't my dad, my mom was there. If not, my grandparents. If it was hockey or baseball or golf, um, they supported me in, in school and in everything. You have good days, you have bad days, and uh, if they're there for you, it makes things a lot easier. You know, it's important to have a family behind you. My dad always told me that the length of a stick and it had to be right below the chin. I'm not sure if it's the, <laughs> it's the right thing, but uh, I've always done that and it's, it's been working you know, very well. I think for defensemen, my dad always said it's going to be below the nose uh, you know, to pull check the puck. So it's, um, I've always done that and you know, I, I still do that to this day. Uh, when I cut a stick, uh, I got to be bare feet and right below the chin. Yeah, I think when um, I was about 12 or 13 years old. Um, you know, I was I was still very small and very. Um, all the other kids were growing, getting bigger and stronger and faster on the ice. Uh, I was used to you know being the best all the time, and now all the, all, everybody started catching up. So um, I guess my confidence level went a little down. But you know, I kept working. I kept. Uh, I tried to work harder than everybody else, and. Um, you know, it, it, I think it paid off. My confidence came back, and uh, you know, after that, I started, uh, you know, playing a lot better. My dad, I mean, he's um, he's been he was coaching me when I was uh, younger, and um, you know, he's been supporting me for so many years. And you know, every time we uh, we had a game after the game, we we would talk about it, and you know, he would uh, um, tell me what I did right, and then. Uh, Tell me some things I did wrong, but he uh, he was very positive and very encouraging. Uh, he wasn't pushy, and you know I think that's why I still uh, you know love the game. It was uh, the Lachine tournament, and I, I was I think I was six years old. My first big trophy, and I had it at home, and uh, um, I think I still have it. The first time you you win as a team, um, that's such a uh, it's a good feeling. It's a feeling you want to have uh, every day. When you're a kid, you always dream of lifting the cup, and finally you do. And uh, you know, the next day you're actually kind of upset because it was only like five seconds, and you've been dreaming it for for so many years, and you only get to pick it up for you know five seconds in front of the crowd. But it was uh, it was worth it. I mean, it's it's uh, such a hard thing to win, and uh, to be able to do that, um, you know, and to uh, fulfill your dreams um, it doesn't get much better than that. Hopefully I'll be playing many years. It's a tough league to, you know, to stay for a long time. Uh, you know, for injuries, um, you know, anything can happen. There's young, good young players are coming along, but uh, hopefully I'll, uh, you know, I'll play until until I can't. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. You gotta work hard, have some fun. I think that's what uh, makes you a champion is uh, bringing other people with you. Um, you know, and they will do the same. So help the others become better and they'll help you. You're just gonna have fun, enjoy yourselves, and you know, good things will happen. Playing for Team Canada is uh, unbelievable because it kind of, uh, you know, playing in, 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 uh, for a team um, is very different. It's only the city that's supporting you, that's, uh, you know, encouraging you. But when it's the whole, your whole country, um, you know, um, it's something different. It's uh, you, it's it's pride. It's uh, it's honor. Um, playing in a tournament, uh, it's do or die. But you know you're Canada and you have to win. Uh, and it seems that we always find a way to win. There's so many great things that happen to the game in Canada that um, we just love the game, and I think we'll uh, we'll love it forever.